This memory unstable, disrupted as little as possible, Black. Don't go in all guns blazing. You need to relax, Mr. Black. Not the easiest place to relax in, Ramsey. The environment is only a product of your own state of mind, Mr. Black. You're anxious about this memory, which in turn is producing more guards. Relax and explore, remember? Substance recognized. Polytetrafluoroethylene sniper rifle cleaner. So tired of this shit. Me too, mate. Two months since we last got paid. This is bollocks. to check things over.
You surprise me, Black. Maybe you can be subtle when it suits you. Last time we saw each other would have been... Let me see. When I stole the corner gun. Ah, yes. When you stole my corner gun for Robert Ramsey. Really, I should just have killed you on the spot. I'd feel so much better about everything. Then why don't you? You were so exquisite. So flawless in the way you ruined me in my company. I wanted to even the playing field a little. Do something similar to Ramsey. And I racked my brains and I just couldn't think of who would be the best man for the job. Then it occurred to me. Me? I'm Ramsey's head of security. Why would I work for you? Every man has his price, sir. Especially you. I'm paid well. Yes, but not as well as you'd like to be. Not as well as you could be. It's not about the money. <laughs> that old chestnut. Okay, fine. Then how about this? According to my sources, Ramsey has a surprisingly accurate record of your criminal history. Far more so than the police. Seems to me he's got you over a bit of a barrel. Work for him or go to prison. The way I see it, Mr. Black. You're his bitch. You sound jealous. I envy no man, Black. If someone has something I want, I take it for myself. So here's my offer, and I'll only make it once. You work for me, not Ramsey. I devise a plan to get Ramsey's Pandora device, and you carry it out. You name your price within reason, and if you're successful, I'll forget about the whole corner gun fiasco, and we'll both be on our merry way. How does that sound? If I refuse... You're alive because you're useful, Black. Don't get any ideas. No. Excuse me. I said no. I'm not sure I've been clear enough here, Black. Oh, you've been clear. But I refuse your offer, Howard. I'll not work for you. I'll never work for you. I'll not carry out this little plan of yours. I don't agree to any of it. I refuse. Oh, 
What the fuck? Ramsey! What's going on? I'm... I'd put it. Closing the asylum. How are you doing this? What is this place? Oh, this place again. What's it all about this time? I'm afraid I haven't been quite straight with you, Black. My apologies. Right. Once and for all, what the fuck is going on, Ramsey? Where am I now? My memories, Mr. Black. Interacting with someone wearing the Pandora can sometimes create what I call synaptic bleed. Two-way traffic, if you will. A flaw in the technology. And the asylum? Oh, forgive me. The asylum was necessary. Son of a bitch. That whole thing was just some big illusion. Simulation would be the correct term. The construct was of my own design, intended to keep your adrenaline at the optimum level for the technology to function efficiently. And the inmates? Patients are yours? The patients were nothing to do with me. I just provided the simulation. But the mind has a wonderful way of filling in the gaps. I show you a creepy old asylum. Your mind populates it with lunatics. Likely just half-remembered characters from your life. Sometimes even films and books. Predictable, perhaps, but not unexpected. So you tricked me. This whole thing was a lie. Do you want to talk about lies, Mr. Black? Whose lies and tricks would you rather discuss? Mine or yours? I don't know what you mean. You know exactly what I mean. This is Grace's room. You remember her, Black. The girl you tried to save. My daughter. Of course! Then why were you there? You were my employee, Black. My head of security. You knew my daughter had been taken and you said nothing. I don't remember! I don't believe you. What about Lenore, my wife? What about her, Black? I don't know what you want me to say! She left me, Black. She blamed all this on me, and it wasn't my fault. I refuse to accept responsibility for the actions of some terrorist. Tell me what you know! All I know of her is what I've seen here, in your memories. I'm sorry, I can't help you. What about this man, Black? You remember him? I remember you, Ramsey. And I am sorry for what you've been through. But I tried to help. I just didn't get there soon enough. Please, let me go. Is that what you want, Black? To be let go? Of course. We had a deal. Let you go. Happy to, of course. But let me ask you this. Are there any circumstances under which you would not wish to be let go? What the fuck are you talking about? Welcome to my office, Mr. Black. Have a look around. I'm sure you'll be able to make sense of everything.
What the fuck? This is me. More of your scare tactics, Ramsey. Well, it won't fucking work. Not anymore. You say you don't remember anything else. That you've told me everything. I have. I swear. Then perhaps it is time to let you go. Goodbye, Mr. Black. Wait! I can still help! Robert! Don't do this! I'm sorry! I'm sorry for everything! Wake me up! Please! Just wake me up!
Cerebral link, patient number black 001. Pandora unit terminal disconnect. Would you like to commence archive data review, Dr. Ramsey? Oh, yes. Switch to Savant unit playback. Begin the review. Oh, and Hope, could you also fire up a coffee machine? Doctor, prior to review, my medical recommendation would be the implementation of a minimum four-hour rest period. Further caffeine intake will only delay fatigue, not arrest it. And make it a double shot. Three sugars. I also need a baseline memory to carry out the review. Which was the most stable from those recorded? That would be... this. Cached on initial Pandora system startup of Patient Black 001. Good. Then let us explore a complete memory before we review the broken. Proceed with interactive playback. Thank <laughs> you.